Hi guys, so if you are thinking of starting an online business, you've got two options, two models really. You can either sell a service or you can sell an info product, so a course, for example. Let's say you want to start a service-based business. So you've really got two options when starting a service-based business. You can either do it yourself. So let's go back to when I started out. I started SPM Online Advertising. Um, and I was helping tradesmen, construction companies, home improvement companies to get more leads, get more work in. And they would pay me in return for my time and my expertise as an advertiser. With the end result of them getting more leads, more customers, more sales and more revenue. Right Now, you have two options when you start something like this. You can either learn the skill set and do it yourself. Or you can delegate it to somebody else. Now there's just pros and cons to both. If you learn to actually deliver the service yourself, you're going to have higher profit margins, but you're going to have a lot less time because all of your time and energy is going to go into service delivery. Whereas if you straight off the bat, let's say in my case, when I started out back then, if I decided not to do it myself, not to learn how to actually deliver the service, if I said, right, I'm going to set up an advertising agency, but I'm just going to straight away from day one, Go to Upwork or OnlineJobs.com and hire somebody who's an expert at this, somebody who's, who's better than me. If I hire somebody in like that, well then what that means is right, okay, the, the con of that is that my profit margins would be lower, but I'd have a lot more time. So with that time, I could spend that time on sales and marketing, generating more customers, more sales, more leads and more revenue for my business. So ultimately, you can scale your business a lot faster if you delegate and outsource the service delivery but the benefit of doing it yourself is that number one you'll get a really deep understanding of what works and what doesn't work how to refine down your service delivery so when i started out the benefit would be massive massively because when i started i was offering everything i was offering a, a full stack digital marketing service let's say I was building their website, I was running their Facebook ads, their Google ads, I was doing their SEO, I was doing their email marketing, I was creating content for them, you name it, the whole shebang as they say. But then I realized, do you know what, I'm spending all of this time and like it's the 80-20 principle really, uh, the Pareto principle I think it's called, is that like 20% of what you do will yield 80% of the results. So my 20% in the service delivery was running the ads, it was the Facebook ads that was getting them the leads and it was the leads that was getting them the end result that they wanted, which was more sales, more customers, more money. That's what they wanted, essentially. So then I refined down the service delivery because I was aware of this as I was working on it over the weeks and the months. And then I eventually turned around to my clients and said, look, we're not offering these services anymore. We're just offering this. The price is not going to change. In fact, I actually increased the price over time, which was amazing because then I was charging a, a higher ticket price for a more specialized service. Um, I've done what I call double niching down. So many people will choose a niche in the market, let's say tradesmen, that's that's who you're going to help. And then the, the niche, you can niche down on your service as well. So basically you help tradesmen with, to get more leads with Facebook ads. Um, so you're kind of double niching down if that makes sense you're niching down on the service and you're niching down on the target market as well so guys keep that in mind if you are starting an online business um, obviously it's, it's a little bit different if you're setting up uh, an info product selling a course and stuff like that which I've also done basically selling if you're a subject matter expert or you have a lot of uh, knowledge about a specific topic or subject maybe that's helping people with their their health their diets um, or it might be teaching people how to use Microsoft Word or Excel or like there's a need for everything out there with the internet it's amazing like there's there's communities out there who need help with stuff whether that's how to lose weight or whether that's how to get better at using a specific software or maybe you're going to help somebody learn uh, a language for example so uh, yeah that's the little bit of uh, value I have for you guys today. Hope you can take something from it. If you need some help building your business, starting a business, or maybe you already have a business and you're trapped in it and you want to learn how to put structures and systems and all that sort of jazz in place, check out the links down below the video, guys, and uh, see you in the next one.